It's a homecoming 40 million years in the making. Some of Earth's most ancient tree species are being threatened by climate change and deforestation, but a Tasmanian researcher has been travelling the world to bring them back to the place where they once thrived. David Riley reports. As jungles go, Dr Tim Broadrib has just about seen them all. I've spent a lot of time um, chewing beef and nut with locals and, and drinking kava and trying to convince um, people to take me up for long walks in bare feet to the tops of mountains that they don't usually, wouldn't usually go up. This modern day Joseph Banks has spent the past 15 years collecting endangered conifers from Africa, Asia, South America and the Pacific. Among them an extremely rare acma pile found only on a Fijian island. There's only a few plants left, it's on the top of a hill and it's on the top of a hill because it's cool. If it gets any warmer, there's nowhere, nowhere left to go. Before the evolution of flowering plants, conifers dominated the forests of southern Australia. Climate change over millennia drove many species to extinction, while others retreated north to the tropics, where today their greatest enemy is human encroachment. With his collection becoming pot-bound, Dr Brodrib's been racing to find them a safe home. He believes the ideal spot is an abandoned mining town in Tasmania's west coast wilderness, one of the world's wettest places. I want to sort of bring them back home. The fossil record says that they are all here 40 million years ago. There's excitement in the scientific community about the Arboretum project. This is the best collection of these plants in the world. Scientists hope these dinosaurs of the plant world will help modern research. These conifers have been driven to the brink by climate change, past climate change. So if we can understand that process, that gives us a tool for understanding how plants in general can respond to climate change. Work has started and all the conifers should have their roots in the ground by spring. David Riley, ABC News, Williamsford.